he who knows when he can fight and when he cannot, will be victorious. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. There has never been a protracted war from which a country has benefited. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. He will win, whose army is animated by the same spirit throughout all its ranks. All men can see these tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. He who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not will be victorious. If your opponent is of choleric temper, irritate him. Know thyself, know thy enemy. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. To fight and conquer in all our battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. Pretend inferiority and encourage his arrogance. Know your enemy and know yourself and you can fight a hundred battles without disaster. If you are far from the enemy, make him believe you are near. For to win one hundred victories in one hundred battles, is not the acme of skill. A good commander is benevolent and unconcerned with fame. Quickness is the essence of the war. Thus, what is of supreme importance in war is to attack the enemy's strategy. Balt the enemy's power, force him to reveal himself. The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Never trust a friend who is silent about your flaws. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. If ignorant, both of your enemy and yourself, you are certain to be in peril. Prohibit the taking of omens and do away with superstitious doubts. Then, until death itself comes, no calamity need be feared. The quality of decision is like the well-timed swoop of a falcon, which enables it to strike and destroy its victim. He will win who knows how to handle both superior and inferior forces. To see victory 
only when it is within the ken of the common herd is not the acme of excellence. When envoys are sent with compliments in their mouths, it is a sign that the enemy wishes for a truce. Secret operations are essential in war, upon them the army relies to make its every move. Victory usually goes to the army, who has better trained officers and men. The enlightened ruler is heedful, and the good general full of caution.